Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Pokesu channel or Reverb.com, wherever you might see this. Uh, boy, I really got lucky. Uh, I think I've only had a cup, two or three of these in the last, you know, 12 years. This was made in 2002. It's an AW200. This is the high-end Artwood stuff made in Korea. This incredible guitar. It's got a Engelman solid spruce top, flame maple back and sides, which give it extra pop and mid-range. I'll tell you folks, the, the, the key to a great, a great acoustic guitar is the mid-range. Most guitars are really dull in the mid-range. They don't have that holographic, crystalline, mountain, you know, open mid-range that has a really beautiful bass. Too, too many uh, dreadnought acoustic guitars are just bass heavy. The bass dominates as opposed to being more of an orchestral balance. This really sounds beautiful, and all I had laying around was 10s. So this this is a demo with 10s. Plus, this guitar hasn't been played for a while, so it's really going to open up even more. But... Hear that kind of mid-range hum? I'm just gonna play little snippets of stuff. These, this is with tens on it. The mid-range in this guitar gives me goosebumps. That, that's seriously, I mean, I, I used to have 50s, 50s D28 Martins. I've had, I've had so many guitars, I won't bore you with, with the whole list. But uh, this is up there with any guitar I've ever had. It, it, it's it's kind of got that beautiful, beautiful mid-range, like a great Martin D18 from the 50s. But it's also got that kind of Alvarez Zing and Overtone series. And it's got some... Like I said, that kind of mountain Martin tone in there, but it's, it's not a bass dominant guitar. That's that's like I said, where most most acoustics really are weak is that they're dominated by the bass. This has that nice ring to the bass. <laughs> I think that I actually the high E I didn't have one so this is a really whole, old high E and it still sounds this good so and really a lot of guitar folks <laughs> If I was going to keep this guitar, I'd probably just put on a set of 11s on And this guitar has a great neck angle. There's plenty of saddle left. It, it, it plays really nice right now, though. This is a lot of guitar. Like I said, it's made in Korea. And, and actually, I know somebody that used to work for Ibanez, and he said this was part of kind of a trickle-down from some of their high-end stuff uh, that they marketed. So, uh, And they, they made very, very few, very few of these. And the color is just absolutely gorgeous. This kind of uh, beautiful kind of, uh, you know, kind of cherry burst it's really a pretty guitar and like I said that the, the flame maple adds some uh, some really nice you know mid-range pop and, and uh, orchestral you know bloom to it and balance and then the Engelman top just gives it a really refined sound <laughs> demo too but it's really
really hard to put this guitar down. But these strings are stretching, I just put these on. So. sounds like to me to my ear maybe I'm hearing it different than the, the 200 or zooms picking up but when I play it here my ear here it sounds like I'm in a high-end recording studio with headphones on with like a ten thousand dollar lexicon you know reverb or something that, that that's the clarity of it that's what kind of reminds me a little bit of a, of a really good made in Japan Alvarez it reminds me of like a made in Japan Alvarez and, and the quality and sound of this guitar really reminds me more of the, of the made in Japan Ibanez stuff. Um, this is this this is really a lot of guitar. Like I said, I wouldn't even be surprised if the same people made it that made the uh, the made in Japan stuff. <laughs> that pianistic overtone series, folks. Hear that? It's, it's, it's like a grand piano type voice. kind of has its own kind of woody natural reverb that's just it's just incredible yeah I do love this guitar <laughs> These are new strings. But these were only tens again. That's all I had. But see, it's it's the clarity. I think the thing about this guitar, it's got orchestral balance and clarity, and really nice definition and bloom. But it's got that crystalline magic mids and mid bass. The mids just jump out with a warmth, a, a woody warmth to the mids and the orchestral balance. It's always hard to describe tone. God knows I try though. <laughs> actually just got this recently so uh, it's funny because I just sold a couple of Ibanez guitars or no I, I just sold an Ibanez made in Japan which sounded incredible kind of reminds me of this one really and then I just sold a Yamaha one but anyway this is available it's a beautiful guitar it's got a couple couple little dings and a couple couple dings on the top but overall it's pretty damn good a lot of guitar for the money so you can get in touch if you want you can email me Steve Zook the number seven at yahoo.com so that's S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K-7, -E not spelled out, 7 at yahoo.com or pokezoo at gmail.com or just call me, 714-548-0385. This is a lot of guitar. In fact, I could tell you a funny story about this guitar. I was actually playing at a music store and uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell that in another video, but they finally asked me to leave the store because <laughs> people kept coming over going, uh, what's that? How much is it? I'm looking at this guitar for 3000 but your guitar sounds better. <laughs> They nicely asked me to leave. I'll tell you the story, the full story down the road. All right, take care, folks. Bye-bye.